Where do you see it going, evolving to? Your work. Um, a lot of the work I'm doing now. Yeah, no. Um, a lot of the work I'm doing now is is, is experimental. Um, I have some shows coming up that I have to prepare for, and so that work is being. I'm, I'm making that work now, um, but a lot of the um, a lot of the ideas that I've been dealing with, in terms of um, in terms of the connection between the artist, the viewer, and the work itself, that kind of triangle. Um, I'm starting to experiment with that and dealing with ideas that are kind of tangential to um, my methods in terms of using things like crowdsourcing and different different phenomena, different social media phenomena, wow. and starting to put some of those things into the work. That's that's really interesting. How do you do? How do you put crowdsourcing into your? Well, I'm not. I, I'm not really going to talk about that now because it, I feel like it's a, I, I, it. I have some very specific ideas about it. Um, that sounds exciting. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Um, so I'm, I'm working on that as we speak and it's, yeah. it's something that is in the developmental phase. It sounds really exciting. And, um, do you think I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, there's a friend of mine here in Canada who, um, she, she connects her, technology in her computers to um she's an artist painter but she's uh -huh. been recently doing music she has people walking through a room and producing music as they walk uh -huh. and the way they walk and the way they move around produces the music and she's okay. thinking and she's working towards um having it produce the images on the walls around them at the same time so they'll be enclosed in this scene of of image and sound that they create themselves by their own movements. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I've done. I've done some. I've, I've worked with some ideas around that vein. In terms of, um, I was fascinated by. I, I started working with mirrors and um, sure. painting on the on the rear of mirrors and how that worked. And and with mirrors, what's interesting is you bring the you, you activate the surface by bringing the viewer into the into the picture plane, um, and if I I I like the work personally, um, but it's it's I think people people's expectations of, of kind of you know what a painting is is, is fairly um, is not as elastic as I would like in some of those paintings. Um, yes. I think people didn't really understand them. So. It doesn't well, stop you from making when, it, but sure. it's, uh, it makes you a little more When you're challenge. moving sure. out to do something new, that's bound to happen. Yes, that's true. It'll be a while before people catch up. That's true. By that's the time true. they do catch up, you're going to probably want to be somewhere else. <laughs> that's probably true, yes. So, and that's that, That's always the great challenge is you're, you know, you kind of do a, you do a group of work and then you're, Include it, and you move on, and you do something else, and everybody's just kind of going, "Well, what about that thing you just did?" And you're like, "Yeah, I did that." Yeah. Um, so it's always <laughs> well, it's the marketing. 